Hey, the Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today I'm going to be looking at this Cam Park X30 4K action cam, so let's get at it. <music> Okay, guys, I've had this camera for almost a year now, and I've had a chance to really put it to a lot of use. I've traveled up in the mountains, I've kept, traveled to the Caribbean, and I've done a lot of other uh, shooting with it. And it's just a really good little camera. I've had no problems with it whatsoever, no technical problems, no issues. Okay, so let's talk about the quality of video that this little camera produces. And I'm going to say right out of the shoot that it produces very good quality video both 1080p and 4k i've used a lot of action cameras over the years and this is probably one of the best that i've used um, it produces very clear very precise very detailed quality video and it's very has it has a very good color balance to it a lot of cameras don't have good color balance um, they might be they might lean to the red side or to the blue hue um, this one is seems to be very true to real life and i enjoy that I like cameras that are that way, so I have to do less color correction in post-processing. Now, I've seen some people online saying that it doesn't produce true 4K video, and I really don't know what they're talking about um, because the video that comes out of this camera just really is good, and the 4K is very good. Even when I show it on my 65-inch 4K TV, it looks really good. So um, maybe from some minor technical reason they're saying it's not true 4K, I don't know, but from my visual perspective, it produces pretty good quality video. You have to remember that this is a $130 camera, not a $50,000 camera, so do not expect to get Discovery Channel quality 4K video out of it, okay? Is it a GoPro killer? Uh, I don't know. I've never owned a, a top-of-the-line GoPro, but it is good, in my opinion, for, for the $130 that you're going to spend for it. Okay, so let's talk about the accessories that it came with. And like I said, I've owned this camera for a while, so I've already taken it out of the box. But here's the box, and uh, here's the accessories. And it comes with all the standard little accessories. Um, it comes with the waterproof housing, like most of them come with. But this one comes with an additional door for the wa waterproof housing in case the, the original one gets damaged. It comes with an external uh, battery charger. Most of these cameras don't come with an external battery uh, charger. They require you to charge them inside the camera itself, which you can do on this one as well. It comes with two batteries. Um, and that's, you know, mo every other kit that I ever had came with one battery, but these are really good batteries. Uh, th this camera is very power efficient. Most action cameras get about 45 minutes out of battery. I have gotten up to a an hour and 30 minutes out of one of these batteries shooting in 1080p. So that's really excellent battery uh, life for one of these little action cameras. Now, 4K, you're not going to get quite as much time out of it. Um, now, these batteries are a little bit uniquely shaped. They've got a rounded edge to them. And you might think that you won't be able to use your other batteries from your other action cams. But the truth is, is just because they're rounded doesn't mean anything. You can use the standard little square box uh, batteries from your other action cams in this this camera it's fully compatible so you could probably get up to three hours of recording time out of two batteries and that's that's really good for these little cameras okay so now i'm going to show you some samples of footage that i've taken with this camera so here i'm going to go to the mountains of new mexico and a herd of mule deer that uh, i saw on the side of the road jumped out of the car grabbed the camera and took this footage right here so there's some mule deer on the other side of this hill.
So that clip right there shows just how sensitive the microphone is on this camera. I mean, you could hear my footsteps. You could hear the movements that I was making with the camera, everything. And the wind in the background. It's just this mic, this camera has a super sensitive microphone. And uh, that can be really good in a lot of cases. So I took the camera to the Caribbean and did some reef diving and uh, used this camera case. Now, I took 4K footage there and it turned out really good, except there are or there was a fingerprint on the inside of the waterproof case when I was filming. And so there's a little tiny smudge in there, but it's not the, the, the camera that did that. It was just a smudge on the inside of the case. Um, so let me go ahead and throw that footage up there for you. So I put this part in right here to show you how deep the water was. Uh, what you're looking at is the diving guide right there. Very few people could dive to the bottom, but when you see me uh, shooting up close shots of the coral, I'm having to dive 20 feet deep to get down there to the bottom to get to the coral. And the waterproof housing did a great job and did not leak on me at any point in time. All right, I hope you enjoyed that beautiful footage of a coral reef around Cozumel, Mexico in the Caribbean Ocean. Oh my goodness, I enjoyed that so much. Uh, this waterproof case housing here did great, didn't leak, not one sign of water intrusion into it. It had great sound to it. I had a uh, little flotation device I was holding it by so that if I dropped it, I could get it back. Um, I just really, it just did, you know, was the camera did great. Um, there was a little hissing and popping you could hear, and that's because of how sensitive the mic is. And when you put it inside that waterproof case, it just picks up some ambient hiss there. But, uh, you know, you could hear water bubbles and things like that. It really did a good job. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. And remember, this product and the others in this video will be in the description underneath the video. Just click on that show more button under the video and you can see those there. Please connect me with, with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Those links will be underneath the video. And until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later. Oh.